Hey everyone, I'm Joel on the road, and today my UNESCO World Heritage journey is at the Sassi of Matera in southern Italy. So the Sassi are cave dwellings that have existed in this area since around 9000 BC is absolutely remarkable. And it's dwellings that are dug directly into the rock, essentially peasant housing where people lived with their animals and their tools. It's got a really interesting history and I'm excited to have a look around. Let's go. So this is an example of a typical cave house and I don't actually know how old this one is but it's essentially unchanged and it's hard to imagine but people would have lived their lives in places like this right through until the 1950s. Well, when you live underground, it's only natural that, of course, you worship underground as well. And this is an example of that. It's the Church of Santa Maria della Virtù, and it dates from around the 12th century. Now, the entire thing is an example of negative architecture in that the pillars, the domes, everything you can see has been dug out of the rock by hand. As you can imagine, life in the caves was very tough. People lived sometimes in the same room as their animals. There was no sanitation or running water. They had to collect rainwater to drink. And this lasted right until the 1930s when the fascist government decided that it was a national embarrassment and that a first world country couldn't have people living in caves like savages from the Bronze Age. And so a program of modernization was commenced and it lasted right through until the 1960s where people were forcibly moved out of their homes to new settlements nearby. But then a funny thing happened, gentrification, and now the cave houses are often full of modern Airbnbs, restaurants and other tourist businesses. If the city looks familiar, there's probably a good reason for that. It's such a fantastic example of an ancient settlement that it's stood in for Jerusalem several times now. Most recently in the 2016 remake of Ben-Hur, but also in Mel Gibson's The Passion of the Christ and a famous Italian film from the 1960s, The Gospel According to Matthew. And it's been a really interesting place to come and see the history and it's still here as well. There aren't many places where people can claim to live in the same houses as their ancestors from 9,000 years ago, but this is certainly true here and it's fascinating to see. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Joel on the road and I'll see you at the next World Heritage Site.